Well, folks, I have a short story to tell. A few summers ago, a young woman named Michaela went to work at a Young Life summer camp. A few summers ago, a young man named Holt went to work at a Young Life summer camp. I told you it'd be a short story. You can figure out the rest. <laughs> today I was packing and also sobbing on the floor of my closet because I was scared to fly on a plane by myself and go to a new place for a month where I didn't know anyone. I can't thank God enough for giving me the strength to do it because little did I know I would meet my future husband there. After crushing on you very hard for a long time and dating a year and a half long distance, I can't believe today is our wedding day and I get to marry you, the boy of my dreams. A few years ago, I had made a list of, and it didn't take long at all for me to realize you checked all the boxes and so many more. I started praying for my future husband before I even knew you, and God blessed me with more than I could even imagine. I prayed for a guy who loves Jesus with all his heart and lives like Jesus would. A guy who is honest and patient and loves me well and my family well. A guy who will lead me spiritually and protect me. You're amazing and I feel so honored I get to be your wife. As your wife, I make these promises to you. I promise to put Jesus first and you second before anything else. I promise to be your biggest fan and push you to reach your goals and follow your dreams. I promise to listen to you and trust you. I promise to take care of you when you're sick. I promise I will try and stay awake when I watch football with you, and I'll be kind even when I'm hangry. I promise to push you closer to Jesus every day. I promise to love you with all my heart forever and ever. Not only is this the best day of my life because you become my husband, but this day means no more long distance ever. No more goodbyes and no more leaving a tiny piece of my heart at the airport once a month. If we can get through a year and a half of long distance, we can get through anything. Ulti Thomas, you're my favorite person, my best friend, and little love. I can't wait to see how God works in our lives, and I'm so excited I get to spend forever with you. I love you so much. I knew you were special. After becoming friends at camp, I knew that whoever ended up with you would be a lucky guy. After a year of long distance friendship, I knew that I would be a fool to not see where our relationship could go. You're the most caring, thoughtful, loyal, and I can't forget beautiful woman that I've ever met. You show the love of Jesus to everyone that you encounter, and you push me to be a better man every day. It only took one year of friendship and four months of dating for me to know that you were the one. I remember coming home from visiting you for a few weeks around Christmas time and telling my family and friends about how amazing you and your family are. I immediately felt like part of the family and I felt so much love. It was my first glimpse of what short distance would be like, and I'm so glad we're now short distance forever. As I think about today, I can't help but be filled with joy and excitement. We've been counting down the days for months, and now our wedding day is finally here. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle share our first dance together, and of course, feed each other cake. <laughs> Most of all, I'm excited to be surrounded by all of our favorite people in one place, celebrating our future. As your husband, I promise to take on the role of captain for Team Love Michaela. I promise to always keep Jesus at the center of our relationship and remain prayerful for our relationship, families, and our decisions for the future. I promise that you will be my priority and that your voice will always be heard. I promise to love you every day for eternity. And finally, I promise to make you the biggest Bears fan in the world. <laughs> you inspire me every day, whether that's facing your fear of flying on airplanes, working hard at your big girl job, or simply being patient with me. You push me to be the best version of myself 
and for that I will be forever grateful. I'm so lucky that you let me escape the brother zone, and I couldn't have dreamt for a more amazing woman to spend the rest of my life with. I'm so excited to soak in what today has to offer and begin this journey of life together. I love you forever and always, Holt. Holt. What? Turn around. So pretty. Can I get a kiss? I'm sticky. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to look in the back. Oh. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love her bow tie. I'm going all in and over my I take you all to be my husband. I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful wife. To join with you and share all that is to come. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. And to forgive and strengthen you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Lord, thank you for Michaela and Holt. Your word says that every good and perfect gift comes from God, and without a doubt, they are a gift to each other. I would like to pronounce Holt and Michaela, husband and wife, Holt, you may kiss your bride. Take me there, oh, take me there, I'm going I'm not scared to get drenched in your love Wherever you go, God, I will follow I'm not scared to get lost in your love No, I'm not scared to get lost in your love I just wanted to thank you all for being here tonight. It's so fun having literally all of our favorite people in one space. Um, it's super sweet. And thank you to our families for helping put on this amazing night. Um, we love you all, and we can't wait to see you all on the dance floor. Hello, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Casa Campion. Holt's younger, tanner, muscular, more attractive younger brother. Kayla, first and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge how beautiful you look tonight. I think it's making Holt look more handsome than he actually is. Immediately after Michaela came back from Young Life Camp, where she met Holt, we all heard about this guy who was like a little brother to her. <laughs> and we all knew that that wasn't the case and that wasn't what Michaela actually thought about him. When Michaela talked about Holt, she lit up in a way that I had never seen before. It was beautiful to see how in love she was with him. And Holt, I didn't think that there would ever be anyone good enough to marry my big sister, but somehow you convinced me. <laughs> 
so excited now we're officially family. That's like an older sister to me, even though I'm probably three times your size. <laughs> I love how funny Holt and Michaela both are and how they can always make me laugh. One thing, one thing grosses me out though is when I catch them kissing. kissing. First Corinthians 10:31 says, "So whether you eat, drink, or whatever you do." Do it all for the glory of God. And that is my prayer for you two in this marriage, that you continue to live your lives as an example of the love of God and do everything for his glory. Michaela, I'm so happy for you, my best friend, and I can't wait to watch you become the most amazing wife. And Holt, you better be sure that there's room in your house for me because there will be lots of sleepovers. As his younger brother, he's forever been my role model and someone I look up to. Holt, you've led a life very much worth following, and I'm forever grateful for the impact and motivation you've had in my life. I want to end by saying another famous quote from none other than my amazing parents, happy spouse makes a happy house. The end. Welcome to the family, little brother. I love you guys. Now, if you all would join me in raising a glass to a wonderful couple here tonight and to what their future may hold, congratulations, you guys.